Welcome to Chemistry with Dr. G. I'm Dr. G, and in this video, I'm going to talk about the development of the model of atoms. Uh, this is part of the AQA GCSE um, specification uh, for chemistry, uh, but not in the uh, Edexcel IGCSE. So the ideas about atoms have changed over time and scientists developed new atom models as they gathered new experimental evidence. The first scientist that has published his work was, that published his work was John Dalton in the early 19th century, 1803. He published his ideas about atoms and he thought of all matter um, as made of tiny particles called atoms. Uh, he imagined that these particles are just tiny spheres that could not be divided. Something similar to what we can see here. Um, around 100 years later, J.J. Thompson uh, carried out some experiment and he discovered the electron. So he was the first to discover the first subatomic um, particle, which is the electron. Uh, this uh, led him to suggest what is called the plum potting model of the atom. In this model, uh, the, um, the atom is a ball of a positive charge and it has electrons with negative charge embedded in it. Later on, Ernest Rutherford, a um, few years later, Ernest Rutherford uh, designed an experiment to test the plum potting model. In this experiment, he fired um, positively charged uh, alpha particles at um, thin gold foil. So that was the experiment he ran. And um, what he uh, noticed is that most of the alpha particles, the positively charged particles, actually uh, went straight through the foil. So they were not reflected um, uh, or all of them were not scattered as he was supposed, if the plum budding um, model was correct, that means the whole um, uh, atom is basically made out of positive charge. So with the positively charged uh, alpha particles, they shouldn't go through the, um, the thin foil, the gold foil. But this is not what he noticed. He noticed that most of them went straight through the foil and only few were scattered in different direction. So that led him to um, suggest a new model for the atom, which is called the nuclear model. In the nuclear model here, as we can see, he says that the mass of an atom is concentrated at its center and it has a positive charge. This is the, uh, the major part of the mass of the, uh, the atom. And then the electrons are um, around, can be found around it. Um, most of the um, the size of the atom is actually uh, free spaces. This is why uh, this is why the alpha particle went straight through the uh, foil. And then uh, Niels Bohr um, um, he adapted the Ernest Rutherford nuclear model, and he did some calculation that led him to suggest that electrons orbit the nucleus and shells. So the main discovery for Niels Bohr was the discovery of the shells of the electrons. So as we can see, the electrons here not just exist randomly around the nucleus, but they actually orbit the nucleus in specific shells. And these shells exist at certain distance from the uh, nucleus. Um, he also, um, uh, in addition to that, he ran more experiments and um, he um, suggested or that led him to the idea that the nucleus itself contains small particles. So he discovered the second subatomic particle, which was the proton. So he suggested that the nucleus consists of uh, subatomic particles, which are positively charged, and he called them protons. Uh, James Chadwick, um, in 1932, so a few years later, uh, he found evidence of for the existence of uh, different type of particles inside the nucleus, and these uh, particles are not charged or neutral. This is, this is why they were called neutrons. So um, James uh, Chadwick discovered the third subatomic 
um, particle, which were the neutrons. His model um, of uh, an atom, this model that we can see here, this is James Chadwick model, his model of um, the atom or his atomic uh, model is the one that we are still using today.